at the Small Business Development Center, we get involved in um, assisting current business owners at whatever stage of the business they're involved in, as well as startup or entrepreneurs who would like to start a business, maybe have an idea and are at the idea stage, or they're in the process of developing a business plan to make that idea happen. Um, so we work with them in a variety of ways. We counsel them on their business planning process. Maybe they need to get funding and are preparing to go to a lender to try to get a source of financing. So we coach them in the process of doing that. Or earlier in the idea stage, try to um, be a sounding board to them to see if you know what their idea is represents an opportunity in the market or maybe is it just a me too. Um, so we're trying to counsel them to best um, create a success down the road. And how do, um, how do folks come to see you? Um, well, a lot of times folks find us online because we're all so busy online right now. So our web ad address is www.nwisbdc, just like Northwest Indiana Small Business Development Corporation, .org. So they'll knock on our door online in that fashion, and you know there's a lot of information available there, including an assessment um, that will provide us information when we go back and make contact with them uh, as to what stage they are in. Are they a current business, maybe with a concern about how to expand or how to purchase a facility or something like that? Are they a new um, entrepreneur where they're in that business plan process, and what is their specific need that we can counsel them on. Well, my guess is for a lot of these businesses, that's you're the one and only resource that's out there for them because they're going to go to their bank and probably not necessarily be prepared or not have the idea of what questions they have in mind, maybe not be successful at it, either in terms of the business standpoint or in terms of the financing standpoint of the business, um, and maybe get discouraged. So you probably have some people that you're a real lifeline to. I'd like to think that we are, and actually, you, know, you mentioned banks. A lot of times, um, we're, we get referrals from lenders who maybe meet with a potential client and see that they're not quite ready um, to have that conversation about a loan from the bank. Um, so they get referred to us, and we work with that individual to try to get them to the point where they are ready um, and can build a real case um, to perhaps get a loan. Um, so in a way, you're performing a service to the bank, you're performing a service to the entrepreneur, you're definitely performing a service to the community where those businesses are operating in, because they may not necessarily be operating without a little bit of help from a planning standpoint. And sometimes starting a business or certainly running a business can be kind of a lonely pursuit. And I know current business owners who feel like the, the world is kind of on their shoulders. Um, and they don't always have maybe a support network uh, around them to provide them advice. So we can be one of those supporting roles, in addition probably to an accountant or maybe an attorney or a banker. Um, but we're there to, to really counsel them to try to um, help them grow in the ways they might like or to transition if the business is in a transition um, to help that succeed. The, the typical small business owner has got to be saying, man, this would really be helpful on the planning side. It'd be great to have somebody to talk to to vet all my questions with. It'd be great to have all that expertise, but my God, how could I possibly afford all that? Fortunately, our services are at no charge. One-on-one -on -one business counseling that we do, which can involve you know many multiple meetings with a client, um, there is no charge for that time and those services. Um, we are fortunate to receive funding from the Small Business Administration and local funding partners like Purdue University Calumet, so that we're able to offer you know experienced business advisor time at no charge. Um, the only service we provide where there is a charge um, would be some of our workshops, you know, which are typically two-hour type workshops in a variety of different topics, may run twenty or twenty-five dollars. Um, but that's it in terms of charges for wow. our services. So we'd like to think it's a pretty good value. Um, How um, uh, you're communicating via a lot of different means. You mentioned, you know, sort of checking us out online or, mm -hmm. or you know, knocking on the door online. Um, you're on social media, you're online. Talk a little bit about how you've used those media to get the word out. Yeah, we try to have a presence um, on Facebook, um, on LinkedIn, on Twitter, um, because those are the means by which we're all interacting with each other now. Um, and it's useful for us to be as visible as possible and in as many ways as possible. So people prefer to follow us on Twitter for a while and get acquainted with 
on NWISBDC that way, terrific. Um, obviously, um, we also have the website. We try to keep regular contact um, through email blasts with people who've been involved in us in a variety of different ways to stay in touch, to inform them about events we might be holding, workshops we might be providing, um, you know, just to keep in the mix. Um, we want people to know about us and to come and seek our help when the time is right. Um, if you if you read, you know, or if you turn on the TV, um, you know, they're talking about tough economic conditions. You know, if you um, read some of what you hear in the news, um, it's pretty challenging times for small businesses. Are there really lending, is there lending going on in the small business community? What can you highlight there? Yeah. You know, and no question about it that it's a challenging time and, and we all feel that. I think, you know, in our pocketbooks and when we go to fill up the car with gas, it's challenging right now. Um, and certainly lenders are facing challenges because there is increased scrutiny and regulation over the banking industry. Um, that doesn't mean, though, that um, a really good business opportunity articulated well in a business plan can't get financing. But the key is to really spend the time up front um, to plan that business, to analyze it, to use the business plan really like a coach might use a game plan. Okay. And to understand with eyes wide open, you know, that entrepreneur getting into whatever market he's getting into or she's getting into, to understand it well. Um, to build a case so that somebody might want to provide financing. Um, it definitely helps if the um, entrepreneur or business person may be able to provide some funds um, themselves or through friends, friends and family um, because there's nothing like skin in the game to maybe yep. make it feel like a more realistic bet to a lender. Um, but there are monies available out there. It's just that you need to do your homework and really have an idea and the capability behind it to offer something in the market that maybe isn't quite there right now. Uh, what worries me sometimes is when you see a client trying to go into a business, well, I don't know what an example, maybe a bakery, when you look around the marketplace that they're interested in and you know there are already a few bakeries and there are baked goods available in grocery stores, you know, you have to offer something in the market that's not quite there right now in order to be a success in a tough market like this. So you really serve as counselor, advisor, you know, part-time psychologist, you know, motivator, <laughs> coach, a little bit of everything. Wow, that sounds like a pretty big thing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, again, going back to our, our orientation is focusing on the good news aspect mm -hmm. of things. Um, any particular stories you want to highlight on the good news standpoint for small businesses throughout this region? You know, um, it's almost a tough question to answer because we see so many different kinds of businesses that are really moving forward in a positive way. I know yesterday we had a, a workshop on the issue of branding and we had 25 people in the room who are all in various stages of business development, moving forward and growing their businesses and wanting to understand more about branding. Um, so it, it's hard to highlight one or two. Uh, but you know, one that comes to mind that we're profiling in our newsletter coming up is a company called Voice to Print Captioning. And it's a great example of um, a startup entrepreneur who identified a need really that hit close to home because they had a, a child who was hard of hearing and realized that there was a need for providing printed material. Voice to print captioning is a way of doing that. Um, so they entered the marketplace very mindful of a need they, they saw in their own family. Um, and that's now a growing business that has hired a couple of employees. And of course, that's what we all want to see, right? Is we want to see businesses starting, jobs being created, investments being made. You know, those are all positive for our region. Um, also, when you look around, you see the kinds of partnerships across our region that are being developed. Um, I love what I'm seeing lately from the Northwest Indiana Forum, which is a group, you know, drawing from business, from the economic development corporations around locally, um, pulling together to try to drive positive economic change in the region of Northwest Indiana. Um, and, you know, all of us who live here, I think, would love to see more positive things happening in the future. So groups like that are trying to drive that, um, and we're excited to be a part of that. Awesome. Um, any, uh, any reminders about how people get in touch with you and how they can follow up on your programs? 
Um, a couple of different ways. I'll repeat that web address because there are a lot of letters in there, but that's www.nwisbdc.org. Um, that's a great way to look us up, or you can go to the state site, which is isbdc.org as well, and you can find us that way. Um, or follow us on Twitter, or check us out on Facebook, because I think a lot of us are maybe using things like that on a regular basis on our phones, and um, we can't a hurt. Bit of time there. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> can't hurt. You know, once you've caught up on the news from your friends, to check out a new friend um, in the form of the Small Business Development uh, Center. Awesome. Well, thank you very much for coming. Thanks, um, Chris. We appreciate the opportunity to help you tell your story, and uh, we look forward to having you back again. Oh, I appreciate it. Thanks for the time.